NLP training on Bali, or more specifically, global NLP training on Bali. Why train here? Why not at our other destination trainings in, in Mexico, at the beach, or Los Angeles, at the beach, Miami, at the beach, Amsterdam, beautiful old city center, or anywhere else in the world. Why train here? There's two reasons that people state, and I'm not going to go into my reputation, the legitimacy of the training, the, 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 the quality of the training, how much people love it. Just go to uh, www.globalnlptraining.com, fill in the form, we'll send you what happens every single day in the training, everything about legitimacy and the certification, all that good stuff. Why do people train here or retake their training here? Because I allow my students who train, uh, let's say, in a destination somewhere in the world, they can retake their training only for $300 anywhere. So some of my students are actually collecting training destinations, so they take their training over and over. Why Bali? There's two reasons that we most dominantly hear. One, obviously, Bali. Bali is one of the most magical places in the world. It is calm, peaceful. You can, if you throw a rock anywhere on this island, it will hit a temple. Many people consider it one of the most spiritual places in the world. It has a rich culture. And I'm not only saying that is because I'm half Indonesian. My mom was born in Indonesia, so I'm a Nasi Champur. Um, it is rice patties, beautiful people, beautiful food. It is calm, peaceful, uh, nature, ocean. It basically has everything. It has the most beautiful rice paddies in the world. So the Balinese dances, the Balinese art, of course, it's for many people consider it the yoga capital of the world. It has all that. So the second reason is, and that may surprise you, it is actually cheaper to train here than to have to fly into and uh, get a hotel in anywhere in the United States, Canada, uh, um, Europe, Australia, New Zealand. Um, the hotels are dirt cheap here. The food is dirt cheap here. In fact, we uh, give our students who take the full immersion training, uh, so we have one week training and a 15 day training. And for the students who take a 15 day training, uh, we offer a sleeping room for $600 for 17 nights. Comes with breakfast. I cater lunch for free from uh, the foundations around the island that I support. Um, that makes the only expense that you truly have is uh, a taxi driver that I can arrange for you to safely and cheaply bring you to the training destination and dinner. And dinner is also not so expensive over here. So that is a reason why people go why would i pay all this money to sit in a hotel uh, somewhere in a major city in the world i want to do that on bali is uh, are there different people coming to this location yes and no our our customer base uh, and because of my reputation um, is mainly catering to people from europe the united states um, and, and so those are our dominant customer base. But we have people flying in and meet us all over the world from Canada, from Asia, from Australia, New Zealand, Africa, South America, Latin America, because I also train in um, uh, Colombia and Mexico, all that good stuff. In this training over here on Bali, uh, we find a lot of Americans, a lot of Canadians, a lot of Europeans, uh, but also because of proximity and the legitimacy of the training um, that uh, Asia, Asian people fly over from places like Singapore and Malaysia, India, where legitimacy and top quality trainers are really hard to find. Uh, so they come here to actually train with a, a trainer with a reputation and, le and le legitimate certificates. Uh, people from Australia and New Zealand come here as well to just truly get away from things, to truly sort of like almost step into a retreat and disconnect from the world in one of the most beautiful destinations in the, in the, in the world. Are the students having different professions or different habits or hobbies? Mm, I would say it's true that the training attracts 
um, a little bit more yoga teachers than in other training destinations, uh, a little bit more meditation teachers or breathwork teachers than in other destinations we train in. That's for sure true. Uh, but you find that people still come from all walks of life also coming here. But a lot of people that are wanting to escape their corporate world life, either permanently or temporarily, people that are going through a major transition in their life or trying to fight themselves, you know, a, a, a famous movie and book that uh, relates to the island of Bali and specifically the area where we train is uh, is Eat, Pray, Love. I didn't love I didn't love the movie. I don't know about you, but I thought that the book was cool. We actually train in Ubud, which is in the center of the island. And the Balinese people believe that the, the gods live in the middle of the island, which is why we train there. Because uh, the ocean gets kind of touristy, can, can get kind of crazy, kind of party-like. Uh, it's great if you're into that. But the training, uh, I've decided to actually hold right outside of Ubud, which is known uh, traditionally for its creativity, its art, and in the last years also has become the spiritual center of Bali. Many yoga teacher trainings are given here as well, and meditation trainings are given here. It's, a, it's not a party place, it's a place to unwind and a place to relax. And we opted to go in a quiet area where still many Balinese people also live, but still many restaurants nearby. Uh, we, we train right outside of Ubud. So you have easy access to Ubud within like a couple of minutes, but many restaurants still there and, and, and just kind of wind down after the training. You can also just decide to stay local, get a massage therapist in for uh, next to nothing. I think it's like, like about 10 bucks to get a massage. I don't even know. I get a massage every third day during the training, comes to my villa. And so that kind of, that type of thing is kind of a little extra in inside this Bali training. Um, and you can have any food brought to you, go to the beautiful restaurants or go party, whatever you want. It's all here and it's all available and it's all affordable. So that is a, a big thing inside the training. And, uh, and we train in a, in a beautiful villa uh, always, no matter where we train around Ubud with amazing staff. But also this Bali training, um, we want to, uh, uh, we, we support foundations around the island um, that benefit with the training. And also we train staff from foundations around the island, which also gives it a very special dynamic. Um, I'm a social entrepreneur. So that is why I want to give back to the local community. And we do that by um, training, knowledge transfers, but also making sure that our launch is catered and, and, benefit, and benefits a uh, foundation always. So that's the reasons why to train on Bali.